A company sold 51,644 cars in 1996. In 1997, it sold 54,244 cars. Find a percentage increase in sales. Correct to two decimal places. This is a multiple choice question, and so we solve the question, and after that, we will pick the correct option. In 1996, the company sold 51,644 cars, and in 1997, it increased to 54,244. We are going to use this information to calculate the percentage increase. The percentage increase will be equal to the change divided by the original value times 100. The original value is the number of cars sold in 1996, which is 51,644. And the change will be the difference in the number of cars sold between the two years. So the percentage increase is equal to the difference in the number of cars. So you subtract 51,644 from 54,244. And then we will divide it by the original value, which is the number of cars sold in 1996, which is 51,644. And then after that, we will multiply it by 100. This will give us 2,600 divided by 51,644 times 100. And this will give us 5.03%. When we look through the options, we can see that the correct option is B. Solve 3x minus 2y is equal to 10 and x plus 3y is equal to 7. These are two linear equations with two variables and so we will solve them simultaneously for the values of x and y. The first one is 3x minus 2y is equal to 10 and the second one is x plus 3y is equal to 7. I'll call the first one equation 1 and the second one equation 2. I'm going to use the substitution method here. I will make x the subject in equation 2. We can see from equation 2 we have x plus 3y is equal to 7. So if I make x the subject here, I'm going to have x is equal to 7 minus 3y. This is a new equation. Let's call it equation 3. Now I have x as the subject here. I made x the subject from equation 2 and so I will substitute x into equation 1. From equation 1 we have 3x minus 2y is equal to 10. But we now know that x is equal to 7 minus 3y. So I will replace x in equation 1 with 7 minus 3y. When we do that we are going to have 3 times 7 minus 3y x here is 7 minus 3y which is a binomial and i'm multiplying 7 minus 3y by 3 so i have to put the binomial in a bracket so we have 3 into bracket 7 minus 3y minus 2y is equal to 10. now let's expand the bracket here 3 times 7 will give us 21 3 times negative 3y will give us negative 9y minus 2y is equal to 10. Um, let's group like terms here. So we have negative 9y minus 2y is equal to 10 minus 21. Negative 9 minus 2y will give us negative 11y. 10 minus 21 will give us negative 11. I'll divide both sides by negative 11, negative 11, and negative 11 and negative 11 will cancel each other out. And so we have y to be 
1. Remember, we have already made x the subject in equation 3. We have the value of y. From equation 3, we know that x is equal to 7 minus 3y. But we have just found out that y is equal to 1. And so you substitute the value of y, which is 1, into this equation. When we do that, we will get x is equal to 7 minus 3 times y, which is 1. This will give us x is equal to 7 minus 3 times 1 is 3. 7 minus 3 will give us 4. So our x is equal to 4. So for the pair of equation given to us, the value of x is 4 and the value of y is 1. In the diagram, the line PQ is parallel to the line RS. Angle KOFG is equal to 105 degrees and angle FEG is equal to 50 degrees. Find the value of M. So on this diagram, we are going to find the value of M. When we consider the points E, G, F, we can see that it forms the triangle E, G, F. One of the properties of angles in a triangle is that in a triangle, an exterior angle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. The interior opposite angles of this exterior angle, which is 105 degrees, are 50 degrees and M. And the property says that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. So what it means is that if we apply this property here, the sum of the interior opposite angles, which is M plus 50 degrees, is equal to the exterior angle here, which is 105 degrees. We can find M from this equation. M will be equal to 105 degrees minus 50 degrees. 105 degrees minus 50 degrees will give us 55 degrees. So the value of M in this diagram is 55 degrees. This is a multiple choice question and so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option. We are going to look for the statement that is false. The first one is x plus 3 is greater than 2. And the question says this implies x is greater than negative 1. Let's solve this inequality. We have x plus 3 is greater than 2. If we group like terms, we are going to have x is greater than 2 minus 3. And 2 minus 3 will give us negative 1. So x is greater than negative 1. So this statement is true. If x plus 3 is greater than 2, then it it implies that x is greater than negative 1. So this is a true statement. Let's consider the next one. We have x is greater than 5. It implies that negative x is less than negative 5. x is greater than 5. It implies that negative x is less than negative 5. We have x is greater than 5. Let's divide both sides by negative 1. If we divide both sides by negative 1, we are going to have x divided by negative 1. Remember that when you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the direction of the inequality changes. Here we have greater than. So since we are dividing by a negative number, it will change to less than. So we have x divided by negative 1 is less than. 5 divided by negative 1. 
x divided by negative 1 give us negative x so you have negative x is less than 5 divided by negative 1 give us negative 5 so it means that this statement is also true if x is greater than 5 then negative x is less than negative 5 this statement is true let's consider the next one we have x is equal to 3 it implies that x squared is equal to 9 we have x is equal to 3 if x is equal to 3 when we square both sides of this equation we are going to have x squared is equal to 3 squared so this will give us x squared is equal to 3 squared is 9 it means that this statement is also true because if x is equal to 3 then x squared is equal to 9. This is true. This means that the final statement will be false. But let's work it out anyways. We have x plus 3 is greater than 4. And it implies that x is less than 1. So we have x plus 3 is greater than 4. If we solve this inequality, we are going to have x is greater than 4 minus 3 and so you have x is greater than 1 so if x plus 3 is greater than 4 it implies that x is greater than 1 but here it is telling us that it implies x is less than 1 so it means that this statement is not true the question says we should pick the statement that is false statement d is false so it means that the correct answer is D. In the diagram, the magnitude of Px is 20 cm. The magnitude of Pq is 6 cm. The magnitude of Qr is x cm. The angle SPR is 60 degrees and the angle SRP is 90 degrees find x this is a multiple choice question and so you solve the question and after that you pick the correct option we are going to find x which is the magnitude of the side qr let's consider the points p s r if we consider the points p x r we can see that it forms the right angle triangle p s r which i've indicated with red in this right angle triangle p s r the question says that angle s p r which is the angle formed here is 60 degrees considering angle s p r we can see that the side p r is adjacent and the length of p r will be 6 centimeters plus x centimeters and the side p s is the hypotenuse and is given to us as 20 centimeters sine of 60 degrees will be equal to the adjacent side which is p r divided by the hypotenuse which is p s so cos 60 degrees will be p r divided by p s p r is 6 centimeters plus x centimeters and that will give us x plus 6 centimeters px has been given to us as 20 centimeters so cos 60 degrees is equal to x plus 6 centimeters divided by 20 centimeters cos 60 degrees is 1 divided by 2 so 1 divided by 2 is equal to x plus 6 divided by 20. let's cross multiply here if we cross multiply we are going to have 2 times x plus 6, so 2 into brackets x plus 6 is equal to 20 times 1. 2 times x will give us 2x, 2 times 6 will give us 12, 20 times 1 will give us 20. So we have 2x plus 12 is equal to 20. Let's group like terms. When we do that, we are going to have 2x is equal to 20 minus 12. 20 minus 12 is 8, so we have 2x is equal to 8. 
to find x, I'll divide the left hand side by 2 and the right hand side by 2. So x will be equal to 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So it means that the value of x on this diagram is 4. When we look through the options given to us, we can see that the correct option is A.